Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Zikriman bin Muhammad Saleh So for my part, I'll be explaining about the program 1 coding So in the program 1, we will use TCP protocol And this program is about the client will sending the IP address to a server And then the server will display the IP address of client at the client screen, screen. So there will be two files which is server and client So for the server, we will use C programming while client we will use Python so let's move on to the coding so this is the coding so this is the coding of the server so here we will include all of this and then we will define the port for the server which is 4455 and then this is the coding to initialize the variable that we will use and this is the coding to create the server socket the IP address that we will use for the server is 127.0.0.1 here then we will bind all of this then the server will listen at the port to see if there any connection to the server so when there are requests to connect the so, so this, code, this coding is needed to accept the connection and after the, the connection is successful this this code will execute and uh, display that the connection is connected then this coding is needed to set the size of buffer and this coding is used to receive the data from the client uh, that the client will send which is the IP address and then the server will print the, the output that the IP address is received from the client then the server will send back the client using using this code send back the IP address to the client to display it there so this is the so this is the coding for client we will use Python so uh, we will import the socket and here we, we will assign the IP address of the server to the IP then the port 4455 then the size of the buffer which is 1024 and the format that we will use is this to decode the data so this code is used to connect with the server when the connection is successful at the client at the client the output will display which is that the connection is successful welcome to the server this output then this coding is needed to get the to fetch the IP address from the client and assign it to the variable IP address then the client will send the IP address to the server then the data the variable data is needed to be assigned the data that we will receive from the server which is the IP address that we send and this code is needed to receive the data from the server then after it's received and assign it to the variable data then the client will print that the IP address of the client is data then this coding is needed to close the client okay that's all for me thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Shabin Nakedin bin Shalizam from class M3CS 2554A uh, and this is the output for uh, program 1 which is server and client in TCP so so we will run the server first uh, it says listening port number 4455 and then we will run the client side Python. 
so the server uh, uh, the server will send IP address to the client and then the client will read it uh, 127.0.1.1 and then uh, it will send back a message says IP address received So I will show the code for the program too. So for plugin, so this is the code. So this server address the host five thousand five zero zero. The message connect to the client and this is the try to send data so first they will print sending message and send the data to the server and the print waiting to receive and then this is the data and then this is the print to thank you the server and it's ending and then this is closing socket for the client so for the server so this is the code for server to be server so the time and this is the time for the time format hour minute and second and we, the server will send the current time to the client and then send this send to the the client and then the close the the session so for output uh, program 2 which is the UDP uh, we will start the server first so server has been start and now the client so the server will send uh, time to client so receive current time uh, right now it's 1.39 in the morning uh, doesn't follow my clock here but it does follow the Linux clock so enter a thank you message thank you. so sending thank you and over here says thank you and then closing socket 